What's going on guys, Tiger here with Tiger Uppercut Media back again with another Dokkan Battle video for you guys. So I know I've been absent for the last couple days, about a week now, and if you watch my last video you know that I've been sick and it took me a little bit longer than expected to actually get back to health and just feel well enough to get in front of the camera again. But thank you guys so much for all the nice comments you guys left on my last video all the people wishing me well and all that good stuff. We are 90% there. Still have a bit of a cough, so my throat is still bothering me a little bit, but all the other symptoms um, where I felt like death are pretty much gone, so we're good to go. So you can definitely expect more videos from me in the next, you know, couple days, weeks, foreseeable future. Basically, I just really hope that I don't feel that bad and get that sick for a very, very long time, because it was pretty dicey there for a second, guys. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Today is going to be a quick video. I want to draw your attention to the new event that just dropped on Global. And we're going to jump into it right here. It's the, come on load, the Genius Balma's Battle Prep event. And for those of you who have been playing this game for quite a bit of time, probably know the value of this event already. But for your, your newer players or people who haven't, who are more casual about the game, um, you need to farm this event. Like this event is very, very key. So the world tournament is coming in a couple days. Uh, I believe on Thursday or Friday, depending on where you live, where your time zone is. And this event is what you need to grind to set yourself up to re you know, rank high in the world tournament and uh, basically just dominate it. So the reason why this event is so key is that it will allow you to get those precious support items that will help you immensely immensely in the tournament especially the ghost ushers ghost usher is number one that is like the holy grail when it comes to support items for the world tournament but aside from that um i don't know why i jumped here but basically aside from that there's also some other pretty key items like damage reduction items king yemas icarus things like that um and also obviously your healing items like the senzu beans and dende so Basically, just go to Z Hard. That's where you're gonna get most uh, capsules, and it's really it's only eight stamina. So I don't know why you wouldn't go for that one. Choose whatever team you want, cause it's really easy. So I'm just gonna grab a Vegito friend, jump into the event, run through it quickly, and then see what we get. But as you guys will see, it's a really really short stage, I should say, and uh, you can get a lot of great things. So basically, just try to collect as many things as you can. Um, I would definitely recommend going left here because there's a lot more stuff on that side as opposed to going straight and you're gonna go straight to the final fight and miss a lot of the good stuff on the way so I'm gonna go to here to grab that gold capsule and then which path you take here really depends on you I usually like to go left because there's a few more capsules on side but if you have some more gold um, going you know the other direction then go for that as well it's, re it's really up to you right make your make your judgment calls uh, you basically want as many gold capsules as possible. So we go four here, grab another gold. And yeah, as you can see, it's really simple. There's just a lot of good stuff on the way. And this event is only around for about four to five days right before the World Tournament starts. And once the World Tournament is here, then the event goes away. So you definitely want to get on it as soon as possible. I'm going to grab a silver one here. And let's see, uh, I'm going to go one, hopefully we can pick up some more things before we get to the Goku fight. And, okay, we got a gold one here, let's get a one, no, okay, so, yeah, so that was like a decent run, but it's only 8 stamina each time, so you can run on a full stamina bar, for most people you can run this event at least 10 to 20 times. And uh, like I said, this, uh, this, this boss fight at the, at the end here is really, really easy, it really doesn't matter who you bring, so I'm just going to... Go here, uh, it doesn't matter. Like, it's a really, really easy fight. Uh, the whole purpose of this event is so that you guys can get the key support items that, uh, <laughs> you know, that will make sure that you don't die in the World Tournament, especially at 30x. 30x is currently the uh, hardest difficulty in the game when it comes to the World Tournament. And at that level, most supers from the enemy will one-shot you, right? So <laughs> that's why you want to make sure that you have things like Ghost Ushers and things like King Yemas and other damage reduction items and just other items that will keep you alive so that you don't lose your winning streak and so on and so forth, right? So there you go, guys. We cleared it probably in a minute or so. And I've been talking as well, so it took me a little bit longer. But if you're running, just blasting through it, it should, shouldn't take you more than a minute, minute and a half. And you're going to pick up a bunch of awesome support items. 
And uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. We got a Ghost Usher. Awesome. We got a King Yemma. So those two are really, really key. And I forgot to mention also this one, the Fruit of Tree of Might is also awesome, especially if you're trying to get uh, Broly to super or um, Majin Vegeta to do his ultra super and things like that. Basically, if you're missing key, you can pop that item and still get the supers off so you don't waste another turn. So we got some pretty awesome items here. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know that this event is really, really key if you do choose to participate in the world tournament. And uh, yeah, hope you guys found it useful. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. If you have any questions about anything, then let me know in the comments down below, and I'm happy to answer those questions for you personally. Aside from that, um, if you're new to the channel, you like this video, you like what you see, you want to go check out some of my other videos like those as well, then consider maybe hitting that subscribe button and joining the Tiger Squad today. But otherwise, hope you guys have a fantastic day. This was Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media signing out.